Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to send all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akakadash, Barakatai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Uh, this is your boy, Azar, coming at you with another lesson. Um, I'm reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus, which is also named uh, the book of Sharak, Sharak in the Apocrypha. And I just basically want to go over a chapter here that really put things in perspective for me, and which was a blessing. Okay, so we're going to start at the top. Chapter 2 of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. Starting at the top, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right. Uh, wow, that's a powerful verse. When you come into the truth, man, you're going to set your soul for temptation. Okay, there are a lot of things that are going to, that are going to be coming at you um, from all kinds of directions, like uh, problems with your family, problems with your job, car, financial situation. All things are going to come at you, and you can be tempted to like put certain things off, like not read, not do your lessons. You know, there are a lot of things that can happen when you come into the truth. Set the heart right and continue constantly endure and and make haste and make not haste in time of trouble. Um, I might not finish all this today, but I'm going to read, you know, some some of these Bible verses. I'm going to try to break these Bible verses down. Um, yeah, set the heart right and constantly endure. Okay, yeah, we gotta. When it says, uh, you know, we gotta constantly, constantly endure. Okay, constantly endure. And set the heart aright. How do we do that? We honor the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, constantly endure. Hey, Amen. You're gonna have to endure some stuff. You know, you're gonna have to go through some trouble. You're gonna have to endure. You know. But when it happens, we got to kind of joy, man. That means the Most High is dealing with us. Sometimes we may do something that we're not supposed to do, and we have to endure something because of our actions. You know? Cleave unto him, and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Because, you know, at the end, hey, man, we want that kingdom. At the end, we want to... First, we want to be on a chariot. We want to be saved. We want to get on a chariot. And we want to be kings and priests of this earth. You know, so we got to cleave unto him. Cleave unto him. Cleave unto his commandments. You know, whatsoever is bought upon thee, take cheerfully. And I just said that when I was like, uh, I think in verse 2. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. You know, and be patient when thou art changed to a low state. You know, I don't know about you, but with me having the uh, ADD and, and ADHD, I have a bad memory. And I've always been at a low state most of my adult life because um, having this memory problem has really affected the way that I, that I, the type of women that I date. It has affected the genre jobs that I had. Um, the only thing I can really do is, is drive. I know transportation, and it's something that I feel like I can do very well, you know. But I try not to take pride for it, pride, be pride for it, doing it because I know the most I can take my license away, and I might not be able to drive no more. So I'm I'm like one step above a low state. But if if I had the mind to like do other things, if I could uh, uh, process information a whole lot quicker, if I could. Um, retain information a whole lot quicker. I wouldn't be do driving right now. I, I would love to have my own business, but you know, um, that's my lot. You know what I mean? For gold is tried in the furnace and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So if you, the most high is telling you, yeah, man, you, if gold is tried in the fire and acceptable. If it's gold, it says gold is tried in the fire. Okay. 
Now, what happens to gold when you put it, when you get out the impurities? It's hot as fuck, but when the impurities are out, are out you got pure gold. Okay, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Okay, so adversity is meant to to uh, wake you up. It's, it's meant to make you stronger. It's meant to make you pure. It's, it's meant to make you learn. Okay, because adversity, you know, um, builds you up. It makes you stronger. You, you, you learn how to dodge and weave, you know, through this thing called life. And, you know, we're still in bondage right now. And, you know, a lot of Jake are going through a lot of adversity right now, man. A lot of adversity. Some brothers are dealing with child support. Some brothers are dealing with uh, um, uh, car issues, finances, housing, wifey issues, you know, children. You know, it's, it's crazy. Okay. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside, lest ye fail. So if you fear the Lord, you know, you're going to be patient and wait for his mercy. You know, you're not going to be, let me see, up here, it says, be patient. Let me see, I think it was, it's a lot, this camera. I think it says, did not be haste. Leave unto him, man, start increase. Uh, okay, yeah. And make not haste in time of trouble. Okay? These precepts go together. Ye, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside, lest ye fall. Precept to that. Set the heart. Hold on, I think this is it. Um, okay, we'll just, we'll just read Set the heart aright and constantly endure. Okay, yeah, this is it. And make not haste in time of trouble. So if you fear the Lord, you will not haste and make time of trouble. So you will fear the Lord and wait for his mercy. And go not aside, ye see fall. Okay? Now, also I want to say faith without works is dead. So you got to understand you have to balance that out. Don't be so hasty, but also don't be too lazy. You know, if you see shit coming a mile away and you know it's about to fuck shit up, hey, be circumspect, prepare for that situation, you know, and just prepare and just pray, you know. And also I want to say, you know, most, sometimes we can't handle things by ourselves. Sometimes we, we think that we can handle things ourselves, okay? But we can't. We can't all do it. We have to put it in the hands of the Most High. Some things we have to put in the hands of the Most High. You know? Uh, th there are some things like that. Um. Okay, ye that fear the Lord, believe Him, and your reward shall not fail. Okay, ye that fear the Lord, believe Him. So if you fear the Lord, fear the Lord have faith in Him. And your reward shall not fail. Hey, man. Our goal is to get on those chariots. So if you have faith, believe in the Lord, you're going to get on those chariots. You're doing the work. You're going to get on those chariots. Okay? Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And and this is the main thing I want here, mercy. I want to feel the most high because I want his mercy, man. I want his mercy. This is worth more than money, man. This is worth more than money. I mean, this is worth more than 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 anything else on, on this earth, man. Mercy. Cause without mercy, man, we should have been dead and you know all fucked up. But the most I had, the most high has shown me lots of mercy, and I constantly pray for mercy every day, every day. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did abide in his fear? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did ever despise that called upon him? You know, Moses, Abraham, 
Isaac, Jacob, Paul, Yahweh Shai. You know? Well, Yahweh Shai is the Lord. Uh, but uh, Matthew, John, you know, the Most High didn't forsake those brothers, man. They put in the word. Okay, you might say, well, Paul got stoned. But there's been many times where Paul um, was was going through different different countries and almost getting caught. You know? So he went through it, man. He went through it. You know? Job. Job went through it. That brother had boils all over his face. Wife telling him he should cuss the Lord out and die. Come on, man. For real? Really? So... I'm going to stop right here. Uh, Lord willing, I will continue verses 11 through 18 another day. But uh, shalom on brothers. And may the Most High continue to bless you and keep you. Shalom on all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wakakadash, Barakatah.